Hello, welcome to another tutorial for the Art of Combat. Today we're going to be going over how to integrate the Art of Combat with the survival game kits that you can find here. So without further ado, let's get started. Remember if you have tutorials you can always submit them here in the Adravia live server on Discord and you can submit them in the DAOC underscore questions underscore submit in there. You can also ask questions or check questions that have been asked in the Alpha Combat's uh, channel. And you can check out the tutorials that have been done in this uh, channel here. So without further ado, let's get started. So um, first thing you want to do actually before you even like lunch uh, I'm assuming you would already, you know, purchase the Out of Combat and the Survival Game Kit. Uh, you would have gone on to create a. Uh, you would have. I, I, I'm not really. Sure. You would have gone on to create a. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You would have gone on to create a project with the Out of Combat. I'm not really sure how it works with the Survival Game Kit. I'm assuming it's the same thing uh so you go on ahead i got the survival game kit from i got the project from a uh, client who wants the integration done so what you want to do is uh go into where you have the out of combat the folder get the go into the config you want to get the input and you want to copy from from heavy attack up to or down to reset VR, copy that, and then you want to go into where you have a survival game kit project because we're going to be migrating the out of combat into that project. Um, and you want to go into the impute again and just paste it right there, so right there. So you want to paste it. So between move forward and move right. All right, so that is just to get the inputs into the game, into the game project, as you see. Project, as you can see those inputs there. Another thing you want to do is to make sure you go into the project settings. Once you've migrated the out of combat into the survival game kids project, you can go into the uh, project settings and make sure you say Adriga GI as the game instance. If you have a game instance already in your project, you can make Adriga GI a child of that or make your game instance a child of Adriga GI, but make sure something related to Adriga GI is set in the game instance. So close that out and uh, try to remember all the first steps. <laughs> Okay, I think that's mostly it for the preparations. Yeah, if I remember anything else, I guess I'll just mention it. So, uh, what you want to do is first of all go into the survival game kit. You want to get the character mesh, the, go into the characters folder, get the mesh, make sure your Project name is shorter than 20 unless this, this what you're about to do will crash. What you want to do is retarget to an oh, uh, I don't know if definitely if it, if it will crash, but it crashed when, I, when it was over 20 from so I changed it to X. So, what you want to do is retarget to another skeleton, but before that, you want to go make sure that you have a rig setup, retarget source. You want to add new if you don't have it, you have that. You want to select humanoid rig here. You do this for uh, the survival game kits mannequin character or the character as well as uh, the out of combat character as well so that and then you want to go back into this place and retarget to another skeleton you'll see the out of combat skeleton in there allow remap into existing assets retarget and it will map and retarget all the uh, animations and animation blueprints and notifies and everything will you know be usable with the out of combat skeleton which is what we want next you want to go into the blueprints 
and just get the man DP. Okay, you might want to just before you do that come into the uh, survival game kit, get the blueprints. I believe you're looking for no, 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 no. Yeah, you want to go into survival game kit, go into blueprints, go into characters. Yeah, and you want to you know edit this so basically you want to set man bp as your uh default pawn man player controller three that's man bp right there uh this is the folder just in case you're not seeing it so this is the structure and you want to set the out of combat player controller as well as the player controller and that should be that so uh, next thing you want to do is go open up man bp and repairing the blueprint to survival character next thing you want to do is go into the construction blueprint um, this is not really important anyway but just do it so you create a call to brain function you have this and you set that up uh, you come into the so you're gonna do it three times event tick you do this as well and come in here and you do this as well now once you compile and refresh no it's just probably going to tell you something about uh um it's gonna give you an error about conflicting nodes or something like that that you can't find something with destroy character this particular one so all you need to do is just rename it to man bp just or whatever you want actually just rename it just make sure it's not the same as the one that is in uh survival game kit so with that done that is all you need to do here i believe and then you go into the man abp and in here you want to first of all very important um actually you know yeah first of all what you want to do is make sure you have this interface implemented here so you want to go into bp animation interface i mean you want to go into add and you're going to find it here it's already here so that's why you don't see it here so that's the first thing you do the very first thing um next you want to make sure you have the property transfer manager plugin in your project so you can just go into uh, google and type in property manager u4 you're gonna see the, f the very first link i believe is the one and this is it it's the tool i believe it is free i think so anyway just go in and uh get it um to i mean i'm going to assume you know how to install plugins but all you need to do is once it shows up in your launcher you go on to install to engine for the engine you want to use uh you're going to see different options in there for whatever engine you want to install it to uh, once that is done uh once you open up the project you should see it in the plugins list you enable it to ask you to restart you restart and it should show this then you uh, come to the transfer here and you go into the survival game kit. You don't necessarily need it, and you can do it. You don't need that plugin if you want to do it. Sorry about that. You don't need that plugin if you want to do it by hand. Let me just. You don't need that plugin if you want to do it by hand, but. Um, it it will save you like a lot of time so uh what you want to do is go into the animation blueprints you want to get that this is the animation blueprint for this survival game kit you want to click on that to get all the properties uh okay before you do this you want to just open up this because there might there will be two conflicts so you want to just come into the survival game kits third person anime blueprint and type in pitch and you know just change the name from pitch to whatever else i changed it to pitch survival then you want to change this to your uh, your survival your whatever you want and you save that and you close it if you want so uh you want to select the third person animation for the property transfer you're going to find all the properties in there the variables and all that and then as a target we want to select 
my BP now you see it's showing yellow here because I already did it in your case it will probably show green if you've done everything correctly I mean blue here and then once you select by clicking that and then shift select there you pick selected uh, it will show green here and blue here I think so you then click on apply and that is done and now for the function transfer you do the same thing except it's just one function so it's not really that much of, a, of an issue so once that is done um, as those are done you come in here you compile you're probably gonna get one or two errors you just go in there and refresh all nodes and that should take care of it next thing you want to do is to come into the event graph and if there are two ways you can do this you can grab everything minus minus that and just copy and paste it uh, i created a, a new graph just to make things you know uh organized you can copy and paste things <laughs> everything in here like you see like this <clears throat> and then uh, since you didn't copy this, you would just uh, create a custom event. Just create a custom event, name it whatever you want, plug that in there, and then go into the event graph. <coughs> you would have a sequence where you would have something like this and that, and that will be you know everything. That's, that's uh, you connect this there, and that's what you need to do for the event graph. That's everything, or you can do the way I did it and just uh, do this instead um, compile let's see you can do this the way I did it and just uh, have these just copy this guy just copy just this without the without this top and you paste it here or whatever you want and uh, you then come in here and then manually look at you know what should be where what shouldn't be where like for example in here you have you're trying to see if the pawn owner is valid yes we've already done that we've already seen it's valid uh, you want to come in here to see uh, to get the to set the, the pawn speed and is in air which is actually different from the one that we have in the out of combat it might look the same but you can see they're different so you know you go and even the so you go in and set these as well speed speed of course you can go on and replace any of these with you know maybe the out of combat nodes if you prefer but anyway so that's basically just what i did that's all you need to do there i hope that's clear um next I think that's it. That's it for the for the event graph. Uh, if you have any errors, just uh, refresh all nodes and it should be good to go. Next thing you want to do is okay. Even with the uh, you know using the property uh, manager to copy nodes and all that, it will probably tell you that you still have that you have two errors um, that it didn't copy two particular nodes the character and the held actor so all you need to do is just all you need to do is just drag out from any of the character nodes and just promote a variable and just type in exactly character just like the way it is here and it should show blue and everything is fine and for the held actor you do the same thing um, there's a space capital H E L D space up to A C T O R and that's it. And that is done. And next thing is the anim graph. Now for this one, all you need to do really is just copy and paste everything. Minus this one. You don't need that. So copy and paste here. This is the stuff that's in the out of combat. And this is the stuff that's in well we can kit. Uh, so now all I did was just you know come in here and just uh, create this was connected to the end return before it was like this so I just created a cached pose and named it tau cache so that we can call that whenever we want so 
uh, I just so basically I'm using the uh, animation blue I mean the animation settings in the animation blueprint of the survival game kit and if we wanted to switch back to that of the out of combat we can just do that and that's that now to use that of the out of combat so if you want you can go ahead and blend between them if you want or you know go in and tweak them but this is just you know bare bones just getting it to work right so with that done everything should be fine uh you should be able to do everything you want to do i'm thinking about it maybe there's one or two things left uh yeah i guess you could go on ahead to yeah uh in this part this locomotion you come in here and you just uh get the body slot just uh you know you could just copy copy this and just paste it there and have that done there and for this one you can add a different, uh, like you see the add sign click on that and you have this uh, so this is the same spine zero one anyway and you have this uh, so that's that's basically everything and with that everything is you know is fine it's good to go you can remove the placeholder uh, sticks or I don't know what to call those if you want uh, you could do all the things that you would normally be able to do with uh, the survival game kit uh, when it comes to impute though you would want to make sure that your that you have you know sorted that out for example right now I cannot if I want to attack it's you, you see it's using the uh, attack of the out of combat you know, that's just the way I said it for, you know for this project personally um, but you know you would probably want to go on to do like some more nuanced stuff like maybe when you switch to guns you want it to to use the the settings of the uh, survival game kit and so on and so forth to do that um it's not really difficult it's just two blueprints you have to keep in mind one of them is the player controller this is where all the imputes of the out of combat are and the next one is the survival game kit is where the inputs of the survival game kit are so you just need to figure out you know what you want to keep what you don't want to keep what you want to use what you don't want to use and so on and so forth for example the one two these these are also used inside of the air of combat uh, player controller as you know for switching characters and also for you know special techniques and stuff so uh like the the left mouse and right mouse button those are used here you know for the light attacks for left and right for heavy attacks and so on and so forth so if you don't want one to be used or whatever you can just go ahead and delete them or you can go ahead and consume uh toggle that so it doesn't consume inputs because the player controller will override uh the character blueprint so um yeah that's that's just basically it you know so well, I hope you um, understood <laughs> everything I said in here. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.